today is Friday, March the 20th, 2020, and the world is upside down, it seems like. But there are still glimmers of light. The sun is coming up. I'm spending possibly the last day I'll get to go fishing for a while. Not necessarily because I won't have the chance work-wise. Uh, work has slowed, unfortunately, to a trickle. Um, most of you on the channel know that I work um, as a sole proprietor in a small business painting fishing lures. Um, yesterday, FLW announced that it has canceled all of its tournaments. I would imagine that Bassmaster and MLF are not far behind it as are most state tournaments and opens through various clubs and associations. So that adversely affects me and my cash flow. I went on Facebook the other day and made a pledge to videotape and vlog and start creative sessions um, and ramp up because a lot of folks are stuck at home. I think that it's a good idea if we all stay connected however we can. Um, obviously this virus is not going away anytime soon. Um, it is not a hoax. I worked in the Army, uh, Fort Sam Houston, when I was younger and people would not be making this big of a deal, up to and including our president, if there weren't validity to it. People need to recognize that we cannot get through this effectively if we don't do everything we can in the, in the foreground to get through it. So I really believe that. I think that it's frustrating. Um, my head doesn't want to believe it because it's, it's foreign. It's something that you read about. You read about stuff like the plague. You read about things that, you know, before there was modern medicine. You recognize that there is validity to things that come to pass, viruses that come to pass. I'm driving, by the way, so I'm not going to be looking directly at you guys the whole time. Um, viruses can be deadly. This one, I think, is particularly scary to a lot of people only because we don't have a vaccine yet. Um, and that it adversely affects the respiratory system unlike anything that the world has ever seen before. That said, I think that the vaccines will be developed. I think that they're working feverishly every single day. And um, they haven't closed Arkansas waters yet, but I heard that overnight the governor of California has clo effectively closed the entire state. So states are shutting down, like shutting down right now. Um, and that's foreign. It's like there's so many things that are happening at such a breakneck speed that it's almost hard to wrap your head, you know, around things like this. And it's human nature to want to rebuke it and, and buck it and say, screw you, uh, this is this is me, I need to live my life, but we gotta kinda maybe come together towards a common solution on this one. So, it is a deal. Um, I made a video piece St. Patrick's Day that I was gonna talk about and it just it didn't, the mood wasn't right, it didn't feel right. Um, this feels right because I'm in my Jeep by myself self-isolating on a creek. The Arkansas has, I have a fishing license. I always have a fishing license. I've never fished illegally in my life, but Arkansas, at least thus far, has lifted fishing licenses uh, through March 29th in an effort to try and boost some spirits, but they do ask that you practice the six-foot rule, you know, so social distancing, is a word we've never heard really before, um, a term that we haven't heard before. So there's just so much coming at us so fast with this thing. Um, but it is recognized up to the executive level in our government that this is this is real. Um, I don't think that it does any good to be negative about it. I can understand why people are, but it, there's no solution in that, at least from my perspective. So. We 
do what we can. I heard an interview, actually a lot of country singers, and I follow Granger on YouTube. I follow a lot of these guys, and you know, they're having to lay off their crew. You know, their crew depends on them, you know, to feed their families. And Zach Brown was in tears saying that he had to lay off 90% of his crew because there's no tours, there's no gatherings. Um, so this is a very frustrating turn of events in American history, and I felt like I needed to document it. I felt like I needed to address it as a YouTube creator. Uh, you're going to see a ton more videos from me. I am going to be meeting my friend CJ today, who you have seen throughout the last couple of years fish with me. Um, he's one of my biggest supporters and has become a really good friend of the family's and me to his family as well. I have, I have his daughter Riley's flat Sally that, um, you know, I, I don't want to make light of this, but I wanted to put a mask on her so that she can help other young people understand what's going on too. So I might do that in a later episode. But I think this is probably going to be the last fishing video. Um, even though I'm going to be self-isolating and practicing really good distancing from, from CJ. You know, the restaurants in Arkansas are already closed. Um, I'm going to be around nobody and just fishing. That's kind of a weird feeling, even though fishing is kind of an isolating experience, unless you're club tournament fishing. So I think at this point I'm just kind of putting thoughts out in front of the camera. Um, it's daybreak. I guess you guys can see that. And um, yeah, I'm worried about flights home. I've got a, a trip planned um, in about a month to go home. Um, home for me is East Coast, Mid-Atlantic. Um, although I'm home is where I am here too, don't get me wrong. I love where I'm at in Arkansas and actually I'm grateful because it seems like because there are more wide open spaces, um, it might be a little bit less affected, perhaps, I don't know, with this whole virus. Who knows? That's the thing is that so many people don't know. Um, and they're making guesses and predictions and don't believe hype. Don't get into that vulnerable, believe everything that you hear. Um, but also, having said that, don't, don't compound the problem by being part of the problem. Um, we have to get through this together. So, on that note, I will say enjoy the show today. I hope that I hope that I'm able to catch a couple of fish. We're doing a, a north-south with uh, Don and Tim Galati up in New York. A lot of you guys probably watch Tim's channel as well. Um, he's been around a long time, um, and he's a he's a good stick. But they they have a little bit colder weather, and we're closer to the spawn. We're coming off a of full moon. So hopefully we'll be able to catch a few things this morning. I know I probably look really sleepy, but I wanted to get these thoughts down on video because I think that it's important to archive stuff like this. And I really hope that everybody takes care. If you guys have questions, um, I'd be happy to answer them. But more than likely, you know, I don't. Who knows if I'll be able to go home? Going back to that in a month? No idea. So hopefully this will pass. I feel healthy. I don't think I have it. <laughs> I haven't been around anybody. I, I work from home, which is a blessing that I'm not as exposed. Although all the blanks that I get come from overseas. They come from China. So it's a little unnerving, I think. Although from everything that I've read, uh, medically, the virus does not stay on even plastic surfaces for more than um, four or five days. So by the time it would get from wherever it is to me, at least from everything that I've read, anybody that would have been infected with the virus and perhaps coughed on blanks, I think I'm in the weeds here. But yes, that, that is also a concern. So, the few things that have been showing up from overseas, I have been giving a, a bleach and water bath and drying each one. So, just 
Hinkle Hatchery is closed to the public. The uh, Mammoth Spring Visitor Center is closed to the public. The waters of Arkansas are not closed to the public as of yet, unless they've done it uh, this morning that I don't know about. So. crazy. This is crazy. It's kind of numbing, I think, a little bit. And maybe you guys are feeling it. Maybe you're not feeling it. Um, I don't know what you guys are feeling. I would love some honest commenting and not not visceral commenting, not, you know, screw this virus commenting. I mean, if that's what you feel, then that's what you feel. And yeah, I guess that's legit. Uh, but maybe throw some stuff down or throw some stuff at me that what would you do what are you guys doing what states are you guys living in what parts of the planet are you guys at are you all self-isolating <laughs>